Okay, the dreaded water eater. Luckily, I have shutoffs here. It makes it easy. Otherwise, this place would probably be flooded, right? Ideally, we want to shut the power off, but I don't know where the power shutoff is for this. It might be tricky, so I'm going to take this apart and take a look at it. Put a little bit of drop of oil on these to loosen them up. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to use the same ones, but I'm going to try and goop them up and see what I can do. Uh, so, just need to get a screwdriver here and pop this uh, cover panel off. And see if I can pop this puppy open and take a look at the... Take a look at the innards. Yeah, I had to come here early because I didn't know they had a shut off. We come here early before the business open. I'll tell you, this is something I don't normally do. Get up this early. But, it's a good experience. I like to meet people. And, uh, go to different places. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of my excitement in my life at this point in time. So this one's gonna be full of water. I didn't bring a dolly, but I should have brought one. I'm sure they have one here. Now this one's still on. It's still, it's still heating up. Should be turned off, actually. Oh, well, here's what we got. I should have a temperature indicator here is probably turned down possibly possibly not okay got wet got everything disconnected now this thing's still full of water and so I need to get this thing out of here dump it somewhere hook a new one up So here's the main instructions. Here's the electrical panel here. So this is the uh, specs on it. up the same way oh it's got connectors here so it's already connected which is kind of nice put the other one in and connect it inside there with different connectors and finally getting this water out of here oh, man ideally you want to take some sort of hose or something and run it out the door but it's all locked up in here can't do anything Except work in this room basically okay got her in place now that old one was hard to leak hard to drip out hard to clear out I had a ton of residual water in it and I'm gonna try and use the old this old one I may put a new one on the bottom one and thank God for those shutoffs okay, so we got it pretty much hooked up so the trick here is to basically prime the like it says right here you have to fill the tank up before you hook the heater up and we're going to just do a quick pressure test on this one um so this would be the inlet well, that's leaking already we can tell where's that leaking from um i think it's got a crack in that right there i can try and tighten it see what happens okay so we got pressure And we got no, no leaks. Except for this. Damn. Okay. We got full pressure on now. That one's on. And no leaks. I put a new feed line, whatever, exit line on that. On these fittings, basically what I do is I put the pipe thread and then I put that on. Uh, 
sometimes you gotta like pull this thing loose and put the pipe thread behind that or you can use Teflon tape behind that as long as there's not like leaks in it should be good so now I just need to hook up the juice but yeah I didn't want to mess with that one you know it wasn't leaking when I first got there it's the minerals you can see the minerals are clogging it clogging up the leak it might be able to be cleaned up and used again um, but it, you can tell it was dripping um, so yeah I just need to uh, put, put the uh, put the power up uh, let's see what happens when I do this oh okay oh I wonder why that happened I'm gonna turn this shit off right it's crazy this is shit man that's off I think that's off why is that thing leaking I got a mess of stuff in here like I said I got that down there which looks kind of hazardous that's the thing is that when you start breaking these pipes open especially if you're upstairs you gotta be really careful because you get a leak you have to turn the water off for the tennis go get parts ah uh, could be a stressful situation okay so you, you always want to start here of course you got water heater is it water heater right there Okay, so it's actually on now because I'm all finished. And over here. Look at it. No sparks. No leaks. All good. Okay, so let's see. This valve's on. That valve's on. I think we're good. Thanks for watching, guys. It took longer than I thought. Uh, oh, it took me... Uh, like four hours to do this because I had to drain the tank and I put it together and I put some new fittings on it. Yeah. It's on now.